Well, let's switch gears back to our central New York community and this gorgeous weather we just can't get rid of. We don't want to get rid of well, it. Well, we can't get enough we of it We can't get either. enough you know, of it. Peter, oh, just Peter Hall's out in the weather deck, Peter. Yeah, and to answer your question, it's been nine straight days of wonderful weather where it's been warm, it's been dry, and it's been amazing. And today was certainly one of the best. We hit a high of at least 85 degrees, and it is completely sunny. Now, as we look in the short term, I think we still have some more warmth, but... We're running out of days because you're going to see some changes next. So let's go over what's coming up next, and then we'll go into temperatures and any chances of rain. So first things first, it's summer swan song. Now, that's actually true on the calendar because officially fall starts Sunday. Kind of on cue here, our last two really warm days and let's say perfect days or mostly perfect are tomorrow and Saturday where it feels certainly like summer. Now, Sunday's still pretty nice, too. There is one weather maker we're watching for late Saturday and Saturday night with a chance of rain for some, but not necessarily everybody. After that, though, it'll feel like fall. An autumnal ambiance will take over. And by the way, it's not like all of a sudden we go really cold, which it can get this time of year. We're just bringing things back to near normal, as you'll see. So today's high, 85. Now, we're going to see if it went up to 86 or not, but... We definitely know it got to at least 85, which is 13 degrees above average. And, and actually, in the record books, the record high is 89. And that would actually tie us for fourth warmest September 19th on record. And records go back to 1903. So not quite a record high, but not far away. Where do we go next? High temperature tomorrow, very similar, 84. Saturday is still near 80. And Sunday for the first day of fall, 77 still above average, but you can see the trend is downward. So by the time we get to Monday and beyond, We've got it actually, it's pretty interesting to note that the normal high is around 70 starting Monday and beyond. So if we actually have 70, 69, 72, 68 or something close, that's actually where we're supposed to be. That actually lets you know how far above average for how long we've been for about a week and a half. Anyway, clear sky overnight. One thing I will mention is that I think fog is going to be an issue for some of us. This particular computer model really hits hard the Finger Lakes near Lake Ontario, the Susquehanna River Valley, and the St. Lawrence River Valley. But any waterway, including Oneida Lake and any river valleys, don't be surprised if fog is pretty thick tomorrow morning. But that's the only issue. Fog burns off, the sun's out, and again, it's a warm day. We'll have some extra clouds tomorrow afternoon versus what we had today. But basically, it's a similar day. Saturday, mixed sun and clouds. We're watching a new western system that's likely to bring some showers at the very least for the Finger Lakes. It might get as far east as central New York in the 81 corridor at the very end of the day and at night. That's questionable, but that is a new development for some of us. And we'll show you that coming up later on our newscast. Clouds giving way to sun on Sunday for the first day of fall. And then we're going to be in and out of some rain. So not only are we cooling things down, but I think we're going to get progressively on and off wetter next week, which is something we haven't had for a week and a half. Stanley Law Skywatch, a sunny sky continues on the Adirondack Furniture Camera. Back inside. Mm -hmm. For the 